Well, I didn't know what to expect when I came in because, of course, the Arts Council collection is absolutely enormous. Um, but in fact, I think the curators have done terribly well. Not only have they selected some really very, very powerful pieces indeed, but they've also got tremendous variety of different kinds of material and the way they've ex displayed the pieces, um, either on the floor or even hanging from the ceiling over there, the multicoloured bottles slung from the roof, um, yeah, you get a great feeling of excitement and adventure, which I think is very much uh, part of the Arts Council collection story. I mean, all the way through, it's given opportunities to young guys. I mean, I remember so well buying stuff for the collection way back in, shall I say, 1973, and how really thrilling that was to be given the chance to, to put my, not my money, to put the Arts Council's money where I thought it should go. And I remember them saying to me, well, we haven't ever bought a video piece before and they were very funny about the whole idea of buying a video um, but then I showed them the Gilbert and George which I wanted to buy and and they were very um, very very intrigued by it and they gave me my head and I think they're still giving people their head now and um, and Robert who's done the curating for this show has done a wonderful job um, forcing people like myself to remember <laughs> all those years ago uh, firing questions at me and coming up with the goods because it is quite a story it's quite a saga and I think it reflects very well on everybody who over the years has built up the collection because so many of these things I mean purely on a financial level are now worth so much money and they were bought at just the right time um, when they were still affordable for the Arts Council to purchase, uh, thereby enabling everybody, as opposed to rich private collectors, enabling everybody to enjoy them here. <laughs>